IGN dropped their list of the top 100 video games of all time. The list is something, so let's see if we agree on their top 10. Starting us off is Disco Elysium, and honestly, I wouldn't even blame you if you said you've never heard about this game in your entire life. I don't even know who you are. A lot of critics love this game. It is an underrated RPG with detective noir mechanics, memorable characters, solid voice acting, yada yada yada, but top 10 worthy? Really? I don't think so, mi hermano. Half-Life 2 at number 9, though, is as solid as you can go. This thing changed the game for first-person shooters. It's got a lore-rich world, timeless combat and weapon mechanics, some nice puzzles, and a rabid fanbase that will fight until the very end for Half-Life 3. You had me in the first half, I'm not gonna lie, but I will allow that. Moving on, we got Red Dead Redemption 2 Cowboy Heaven at number 8. Can we really argue with this one? No, it's a solid pick. As a matter of fact, it's one of the best single-player RPG narratives of our generation. With, dare I say, one of, if not the most, satisfying open world environments to explore in any medium. A groundbreaking spaghetti western story with some of the coolest and most memorable characters in gaming history. Listen, Papa, this game made me cry like a baby. Arthur Morgan is the goat, and the fact that it had multiplayer was also the icing on the cake. This one is hot. This one is hot. I like this one. Okay, at number seven, we have Super Mario 64. I am so glad this bad boy made it into the list. Some of my fondest gamer memories started on the Nintendo 64, and this was the quintessential game of that generation. Yes, you still had Golden Eye and all that other bullshit, but Super Mario was where it's at. It added the best elements that we had known to love from the Mario 2D style platformer to a colorful, vibrant version of the Mushroom Kingdom that you wanted to explore for hours on end. On top of the fact that the visuals and the mechanics were banging, the soundtrack poppy, banging. Gathering the stars at the end of every single mission felt like you were saving the world. A certified timeless classic, no arguments here. Mass Effect 2 took the number six spot, and while personally I am a Mass Effect 3 kind of guy, I can totally understand why this is on the list. This game is known for exploring the themes of loyalty, sacrifice, the nature of consequences and free will like nothing ever did before. It is damn near a masterpiece with character customization and dialogue options that affected the narrative, not only enriching the storyline but also affecting the relationships that you have with other characters. I'm not gonna lie, even though I like number three, number two is solid and it is peak fiction. Okay, this is where our difference in tastes start to show up because at number five, they have Super Metroid. Again, this one is a classic. I'm not knocking it. It's the third game with Samus, and it was a staple of the SNES. It came out in 1994 and was critically acclaimed for all the right reasons. I wasn't born when this came out, but I did get to play it early on in life. The boss battles, the fighting mechanics, and the atmosphere were crazy and exhilarating. But there are a ton of modern games that usually get overlooked in favor of the OGs. For example, I would have switched this one up with Ocarina of Time, God of War, or even The Last of Us. But that's more of a hot take. We can discuss older games versus newer games in another video, especially if we hit a thousand likes on this one. But we are moving on to numero cuatro with our first entry of the Legend of Zelda franchise with A Link to the Past. Listen, I get it. I understand the value of these core memories and the value that they provided. A Link to the Past was goaded, but you had other games to choose from, even from within the same franchise. I would have picked Ocarina of Time for this as well. Even Majora's Mask has an argument to be more iconic than A Link to the Past. And I'm sorry, the fact that Ocarina of Time was right there and they dropped it down to number 34? That ain't cool. The music, the exploration, the different puzzles, and the time travel? Yeah, that one deserved to be switched at any point. Highly disagree, but we're moving on to number three. Portal 2 took the bronze, and honestly, I'm okay with it. This is one of those rare franchises that succeeds at almost every technical level. It looked polished. It captivated us with stunning visuals, breathtaking mechanics, and interesting puzzles. And on top of that, the story and the villains were sensational. Plus, there's only a handful of titles that can truly nail a dramatic narrative with dark humor and comedic undertones, all the while enhancing the experience with compelling visuals, great sound, and great gameplay. This one is a banger, and although I think other games could have given it a run for its money, I kinda dig it. The one that I do not agree with, though, is Super Mario World at number two. Why? Why because por qué? There are so many other Mario games to choose from. As a matter of fact, you could have even chosen Smash Bros. Ultimate and change this one. Or Super Mario 64, I don't know. Listen, I get it. The visuals were revolutionary, it simplified the overworld, it had great texturing and level design. Pero mi hermano, o sea, you left some of the biggest bangers in gaming away from the podium. I don't know, man, it could just be me. I, I, they started to wobble around the middle of this list, but at number one, they got it fucking right. What is IGN's best ever video game of all time? The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Listen, God of War 2018 is my personal favorite 
favorite, but I have no arguments with this bad boy. It married my other pick for gaming's most groundbreaking open world narrative with a sleek reinvention of the series' core mechanics. Puzzles, a great story, vast landscapes, great voice work, outside of Link for obvious reasons. I wasn't a huge fan of the stamina bar or the weapon decay, but still. Inventory management is my jam, and this fits the bill. I love this game with a passion. Paying attention to detail is one of the most important things when it comes to a gaming experience, at least for me. A broken clock is right twice a day, and sometimes critics do get it right. Should I review the full list in another video? Let me know in the comments down below.